we are delving into the food storage room today. <laughs> We're trying to get things organized. Um, these are all the items that came from the farm in our old house. And we are, we got a lot to do in here because we are going to have a huge back to school haul. And um, between Costco, Aldi, and Walmart. So we are just working on getting this set up and organized. So what we're thinking is this shelf, we've got to um, clean other items. Obviously, it's a hot mess right now. But we're thinking that we're going to do like seasonings and spices, um, items. And then uh, our middle shelf here, I mean, this is not done, guys. We're just trying to like figure our lives out. <laughs> <laughs> this middle one, we wanted to do baking items because sometimes, you know, flour, sugar, if it leaks or whatever, these are solid shelves um, that would catch that. And then this last um, little shelf here, I was thinking like beauty, um, self-care products, um, like body washes, deodorants and all that kind of stuff. And also like first aid um, things. Over here, we're probably, this shelf is probably going to be like what's on there, but this isn't organized yet. Um, like paper goods, aluminum foil, and Gladlock bags, all that kind of stuff. And we're probably going to put drinks down here in the bottom. We have some water down here. We just have a lot of work to do still. Let me back up a little bit. So we're thinking cans. So we wanted to put, you know, because we have a lot of cans. So we were thinking we would do that in the middle rack because then you can work on both sides and have both sides available as well as jarred goods, condiments, that kind of thing. Um, but as you can see, it is just like <laughs> all over the place at the moment. Um, and then we still have boxes to unpack in here. So in our closet... Well, this is a bedroom, so I should say it's it's the food storage room, but it, it's meant to be a bedroom. And here we're going to put all the platters and, you know, holiday things that, you know, that you just get out once in a while, um, like these drink dispensers, um, <laughs> this huge upside down wine glass <laughs> that I use for special occasions for like trifles and that kind of thing but like serving platters um also um there's like holiday napkins and streamers and ribbons and we'll have gift wrapping things and cookie cutters and cake decorating tools all that kind of stuff will go into the closet so we're not going to have you know food in there it's just going to be um for other items so at the moment we are just trying to, you know, you got to start somewhere. And, you know, I tell people that, you know, you don't have to have a designated food storage room in your home. What we did in our first home, which was only 1,200 square feet, we actually took what was in the linen, cl linen closet and put it on a shelf in the laundry room so that we could use the linen closet as our first food storage room. You know, some people can use um, organizers that go under the bed, that kind of thing, start off small. Um, you know, so this is what it looks like right now. Really excited. We'll do like an after video once this is um, organized so I can show you what we did. But we're going to definitely do, um, you know, stock up videos uh, for back to school because um, I really, really, I work at a school, so I have off for the summer. Um, and obviously the kids have off for the summer. So we really like to do a really big back to school haul so that, you know, once school starts, we can, you know, just, <laughs> we don't have to worry about grocery shopping so much. I can plan menu um, items real quick, meals real quick. And, uh, you know, just having things on hand is so awesome. So we will take you back here later, but that's what it looks like for now. So I just wanted to show you a little update video. <laughs> We've been working our little tails off in here. Still have some boxes, but these are all empty. Hallelujah. All right, let's go over here. So we decided to do this first um, shelving unit here 
top ones are kind of like packets of different ingredients like taco seasoning um you know dry gravies all that kind of thing then your onion soup mix and then these are kind of i love these from aldi um the squirt bottle seasonings some capers horseradish so more seasonings um and then here's a lot of dry seasonings so we just kind of line these up here and then these shelves below are condiments so steak sauces we try to keep like our asian sauces together and then the vinegars together um and then here you have your mustards ketchups mayo barbecue and on the bottom there is where our jalapenos like pickled jalapenos pickles and relishes are and then this shelf here is our baking shelf like i said i really wanted to put like the flowers and the sugars on a solid shelf so in case we had a a leak of something it would stay on the shelf so um you know have our sugars granulated brown powdered and then all of our different kinds of flowers we have our box cake mixes some icings sprinkles puddings um, food colorings and then some different kinds of nuts marshmallows chips sweetened condensed milk evaporated um we have like fruit things on this <laughs> <laughs> that's the best way to put it so raisins prunes will have um, different canned fruit pumpkin and our jellies will also go there um, lemon lime juice cranberry this bottom one didn't get organized very well but those are going to be like baking things as far as the oils uh, baking powders cornstarch non-sticks all that kind of stuff now this next one um I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I have cleaning supplies here on this top shelf. And then this would be, you know, like your body washes, the shaving creams, razors, all that kind of stuff. And then the next one below here on the left is like dental stuff, like, you know, toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash. And then to the right of that is things that we use as far as for our face, um, hair color, that kind of thing. And then the shelf below it is all first aid and vitamins. And then the one below that's empty <laughs> basically is going to be for larger items like laundry detergents, but also um, I was thinking that the pet food could go here or here. I, I have to decide. Um, we have large storage containers for their food. So, you know, we may... We may be okay with just like putting it right here for now. Um, we utilize the top of the shelving units for um, containers like for cupcakes, cakes, um, like these little tiered trays, um, and then for our slow cookers. All right, and then I'm gonna take you around this way. Now, when we organize, we notice we're like, good gracious, we have a lot of space in here, which is awesome, because that's what we want. Before we moved to our new house, we were really trying to um, use up the food that was in our food storage room so we wouldn't have to move so much. So it still looks like a lot of stuff. I mean, it doesn't quite right now. <laughs> but um, yes, we will definitely be filling this in. So on the bottom two shelves here are going to be all drinks. So juices, sodas, waters, what have you, okay? We have nothing on this uh, rack. And let's, well, you know what? Let's just go up here. So here's our canned items. So we have um, beans, green beans, all that kind of stuff. You see a lot of empty spaces between, which isn't a bad thing. Um, we're excited to fill it up um, before the kids go back to school and before I go back to work. <laughs> on the other side, we also have um canned items as well but that's the nice thing about having a rack like this because um obviously you know that has a back on it so you can't get to both sides and there's so many things when it comes to canned goods and things so it's nice to have um to be able to utilize both sides um the the um, shelf below is for tomato products. Y'all normally, like at our old food storage room, this would be packed full 
because <laughs> we do a lot of Italian cooking. Um, so that's what's going to be on this rack. Um, like I said, there's nothing on this one as of now. Again, drinks on the bottom here. So this is going to be more of a breakfast shelf here. Um, we will definitely be filling this up with cereals, oatmeal, and of course we have our granolas, dried fruit. Look, we're going to get some more coffee for sure. <laughs> Love my coffee. Um, the shelf above is, um, we've got our dried beans. We have our rices here, quinoa. And then in this basket, which we'll probably end up, this, we just, we just found this basket. We're like, well, let's just throw these in here for now. Um, you know, your instant potatoes and your instant side dishes, the north sides. And then our top shelf here is for our pastas, which we also like to fill up. All right, we're going to swing it around this side. All right, and this could change, you know, as we fill it up, as we um, do our large grocery hauls, we may move things around. It just, thing, we just want things to make sense and we want to make sure that things aren't left behind um, and expire because that's not what we're doing. That's not why we're doing this. All right, so top shelf, I think that's going to house more star, uh, it's like star from cups. Those are to go um, containers right there. Um, the shelf below. So this is going to be the kiddos snack shelf, probably this one and this one right now. There's, there's some snacks. <laughs> we have things down in our pantry. Like I said, we're just putting this together today, so we don't have that much stuff. Um, and the, those are the kids protein shakes. So, you know, these two or, you know, three shelves here, you know, especially when they go back to school, like to have, you know, some items to pack in their lunch boxes. Okay, moving on. We're backing it up. So here, this is going to be for our um, paper towels, toilet paper, tissues, trash bags, you know, all the Ziploc bags. Um, we do plan on, it's not, that's actually paper towels, but this will be all toilet paper and then underneath, because it's a bigger space, it's hard to tell on camera. Um, that will be for our paper towels that we get at Costco. We love the Costco paper towels. Um, we just have some storage um, drawers here, cookie cutters, that kind of thing, and then some platters that we use for entertaining. And I just wanted to put that on top. I know it's not Halloween. I will have this up all year round. Um, that was a very special thing that my mom got me. Um, so I just love that little thing. <laughs> she, she made ginger molasses cookies. Actually, I think hers were molasses cookies. So that's what I like to make, um, and put into that little, I, don't, I guess you would call it almost like a, well, it's a bowl, a bowl, a cauldron. <laughs> so this is what our food storage room looks like now. Um, when we do our large grocery haul, I will do another before and then we'll do the after because I want you to see, you know, how it operates and how, no, we're not just buying stuff and throwing it away because that is not what we are about. So this is what it looks like now. We're really, really excited about it and like and subscribe so you don't miss a video when we do the large grocery hauls. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.